Geometry of the Gods, Sacred Patterns in Nature and Art. Sacred Geometry. Have you ever wondered about the design of the universe? Why do certain patterns keep appearing in nature, architecture, and even our own DNA? Welcome to the intriguing world of sacred geometry, a realm where mathematics meets spirituality, where patterns give life to the cosmos. This isn't about random isolated shapes, it's about the pervasive patterns and proportions that govern the universe. From the spiral of a galaxy to the double helix of our DNA, from the petals of a flower to the majestic pyramids, these forms and patterns are everywhere, whispering the secrets of the universe. This has led scientists, philosophers, and artists to speculate. Could the universe be less random, more purposeful than we've assumed? Could its design be based on specific geometric principles? Perhaps the universe is more like a grand symphony orchestrated by the laws of sacred geometry. To unravel the mystery, we delve into the discovery and evolution of sacred geometry. Sacred geometry is not a new concept. In fact, it dates back to ancient times. It's a tantalizing enigma that has been with us since the dawn of civilization. Its origins can be traced back to the ancient Egyptians and Greeks, who saw the world around them not as a chaotic and random assortment, but a harmonious and orderly pattern of shapes and proportions. They incorporated these geometric patterns into their magnificent structures and awe-inspiring arts. And it wasn't just the artisans who were intrigued. Renowned thinkers such as Pythagoras and Plato too, found themselves drawn to this mystical realm of geometry. Pythagoras, for instance, discovered that musical notes could be translated into mathematical equations, a concept that's at the heart of sacred geometry. Plato, on the other hand, attributed the tangible world to the existence of five geometric solids, which he called the Platonic solids. But sacred geometry did not stop evolving with the ancients. It continued to captivate minds and inspire discoveries. As humanity progressed, so did our understanding of sacred geometry. This ancient philosophy didn't merely stand still in time, it evolved, matured and became more intricate, just like the civilizations that studied it. In the early days, sacred geometry was primarily a spiritual concept, a way for our ancestors to make sense of the universe and their place within it. But as our understanding of the world grew, so did our understanding of these sacred shapes. The Renaissance was a particularly flourishing period for sacred geometry. Artists and architects of the era, like Leonardo da Vinci and Johannes Kepler, incorporated these divine patterns into their works. Da Vinci's Vitruvian Man is a prime example, embodying the squaring of the circle, a principle of sacred geometry. Kepler, on the other hand, used the platonic solids to model the orbits of the planets, marrying the celestial with the geometric. Johannes Kepler's contributions to the field of astronomy are well documented, but his involvement with sacred geometry, a concept deeply intertwined with the understanding of the divine order in the universe, is equally significant. In Kepler's renowned work, Astronomia Nova, 1609, he introduced his groundbreaking laws of planetary motion, which laid the foundation for modern astronomy. Notably, he revealed that planets move in elliptical orbits around the sun, However, what is less known is the spiritual and sacred significance he attributed to these discoveries. Kepler believed that the geometrical precision governing planetary motion was a reflection of the divine design, which he saw as a testament to the existence of a higher cosmic order. Kepler's exploration of sacred geometry extended further in his work Harmonices Mundi, 1619, where he examined the harmonious relationships between geometric figures and the orbits of the planets. He believed these relationships were expressions of divine harmony in the cosmos. While his scientific achievements were groundbreaking, Kepler's commitment to the idea of sacred geometry in the natural world reflects the intricate interplay between scientific inquiry and spiritual beliefs during the Renaissance era. His work demonstrates the deep connection between science and metaphysical concepts in his time. Meanwhile, in Italy, Leonardo da Vinci, the quintessential Renaissance polymath, was deeply involved with sacred geometry, which played a central role in his understanding of the universe. In his quest to uncover the secrets of nature, he extensively explored the concepts of divine proportion and geometric order. Da Vinci believed that geometry was not merely a mathematical construct, but a key to understanding the divine plan in the natural world. One of his most famous works, Vitruvian Man, is a prime example of his engagement with sacred geometry. In this illustration, 
he meticulously depicted a man within a circle and square, emphasizing the connection between the human form and the geometric patterns found in nature. Da Vinci's studies of the golden ratio, the Fibonacci sequence, and geometric shapes were rooted in the belief that these mathematical principles underpinned the beauty and harmony of the universe. His notebooks, filled with sketches and diagrams, reflect his tireless exploration of these sacred geometrical concepts. Leonardo's multifaceted approach to understanding the divine through geometry remains a testament to his profound influence on the Renaissance era. Fast forward to the present day, and we see sacred geometry in fields as diverse as physics, chemistry, and quantum mechanics. It's in the spiraling arms of galaxies, the structure of crystals, and the uncanny world of subatomic particles. The principles of sacred geometry continue to guide our understanding of the universe, transcending the boundary between the spiritual and the scientific. The journey of sacred geometry, from ancient art to modern science, is a testament to its enduring fascination. It's a journey that's far from over, as we continue to find these divine patterns in every corner of the cosmos. So what does all this mean? What is the essence of sacred geometry? Sacred geometry is a deep dive into the heart of existence itself, a journey into the fundamental patterns that underpin space and time. It's not just about shapes and ratios, although they are crucial components. Sacred geometry is about the unity and interconnectedness of the universe, the intricate web that links all things together. Think of it as the blueprint of the cosmos, a map to the underlying structure of reality. It's the language of the universe, a code that expresses the harmony and order that pervades the cosmos. And this language is not limited to the grand scale of galaxies and supernovas. It's imprinted in the smallest of things, in the atoms and molecules, the DNA spirals that compose life itself. Understanding sacred geometry, then, is like learning to read this cosmic language. It's about tuning into the symphony of existence, discerning the harmonies and melodies that resonate in the fabric of reality. It's a journey into the heart of the cosmos, a quest for the ultimate truth. But sacred geometry is more than just a metaphysical concept. It's a practical tool, a compass that can guide us in our exploration of the universe. It's a key to unlocking the mysteries of existence, a bridge between the seen and the unseen, the known and the unknown. Sacred geometry is not just about shapes and patterns, it's a language, a code that may hold the answers to the universe's biggest questions. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more psychedelic history stories and biographies.